Good morning, everybody. Monk Cheetah back here on an early Friday morning. I'm out at my permission I have at the farm that dates back to the 1700s. I'm currently in a field that my friend just mowed down. You can see it. So I'm going to start here. I'm with the apex today. Tangle Tangle is at work. We usually go out on Saturdays, but we got a big rainstorm coming, and then she works on Sundays too. So I'm going to be up here alone for a while. I'll get back with you when I find something good. Stand by. All right, I finally found something. Been working on here a little bit, finding a lot of iron stuff, but just found this shell casing. Pretty big. Uh, I was looking at it. Has a F on there and 305. I'm not sure if that what it is. I'll have to look at it closer when I get home. But dug it out of the dirt. Let's keep going. Okay, I think I found a coin. I moved closer to the main barn of the farm. And I came out of this hole here. It's pretty damp. Can you see it right there? No idea where it is. It's pretty crusty. Size of a quarter, but I don't think it's a quarter. Definitely a coin shapeage. Definitely round. Let me try to clean it up. This is exciting. Hang on. Yeah. I don't know if I should try to clean it up out here and wait till I get home. Could be something completely different. I rang up on the apex, 82-83. Almost the same tone as the silver quarter I got last time out in the cornfield. I might have to wait until I get home to clean this baby up. But pretty exciting here. Got a coin on the board. Well, I think it's a coin. Could be a token, maybe. But I think it's a coin. Let me go uh, look around the hole here. Well, that's one of the original old barn to the farm. I'm still looking at the coin I just found, or I think it's a coin. I don't know, my eyes are playing games on me. Almost see like a 1776 on it. Can you see it? There's a six right there. It looks like a 1776. I really don't want to rub it or clean it. I think I'm just going to wait, like I said, till I get home. Hopefully it's something I've never found. It's the size of a quarter, but I don't think it's a quarter pretty crusty though. The ground it came out of was very damp and wet. Right over here, he just cut this field down. I found it in that corner. So I'm gonna have to wait till I get home. I kind of brushed it a little bit, but I don't know if you guys can see it. But I look, it's a 76 to me. I'm gonna keep looking. Keep farming around here. Well, just got my next coin. Can you see it? Bringing up 86 all day. It's right there. And this looks like a quarter for sure. Yeah. Definitely a quarter. Let's see if I can get a date off it. Second coin of the day. This first one, I don't know what it is, but. This one's definitely a quarter. I think it says 1967. Well, let me clean it up a bit. Yep, it's a 1967 quarter. There you see it? It's older than me. I'll take it. Now that I see this one, I don't think the first coin I found is a quarter, because see how thick that is? Unless the other one got so crusty I can't wait to get home and try to investigate the first one, but let's carry on at the farm. With the Garrett. I just dug this out of the hole. When I found it, the only thing I could see was this part. I thought I found a revolver, or the, the muzzle of the revolver or a gun was sticking out, but I believe it's like a cap to maybe a gas can. I'm not sure, but it rang up. 
83 on the apex, so I thought maybe another corner, but you can see how that might fool me. I said, oh my God, I found a gun. But nope, just a cap. I'm gonna keep moving Monk Cheetah back here. I just found an old bottle dump. And my first bottle I pulled out, awesome. It is a milk bottle. It's like it's in perfect shape. Still down at the farm, a little, little bottle dump area. This one was right on the surface. So I'm gonna give it a look around, see if I can find some more. All right, folks, Monk Cheetah back here. This bottle dump looks very promising. I'm gonna save this digging for me and Tangle to come back to. Now that I know it's here, I can go right back to it. It's always a plus to find something else out in the woods. But this, right off the top, this mason jar, I've been digging for a while, I've never seen one with that symbol, with a anchor and an H on it. Of course, the milk bottle. These are always great and very collectible. There's even a name on it. Maybe if I can clean it up, I can probably get the name on it. And of course, this green, I think this might have been a beer, but it's a nice color. And this here, this is a good sign. This is a, a cream top, we call them. I've only got one whole one out of a dump before. It's a good sign that it's here. And this little one here has, you know, I don't know what it is, but it has Cheeseboro, New York on it, and a date. But I'm gonna come back here with Tango Tango. I'm about finished for the day. I'll do my wrap up at the house. All right, folks, Smoke Cheetah back here with the wrap up from yesterday's adventure. I'm doing it today, Saturday, because myself and Tango Tango were trying hard to get a date off of my first kappa or lodgy or large scent that goes by the real name, I guess. It's right here. We were able to find out that it was a large scent because of the back. We saw the one scent and the reef on it. You can't really tell, but we could tell yesterday a lot better. It's in rough shape, as you can see. It's my first large scent, so I don't have a lot to go by. If you folks out there know anything better, let me know in the comments, but I'll take it. I was expecting to find those type of coins at the farm because it has a lot of history there. And of course, I found the 1967 quarter right there. I'll take that too. And of course, I found the usual suspects, some nails and aluminum. I just dug those up just to play with the apex to try to learn the signals and everything. Most of the time, I had the apex set up to find high tones. I did find this. I didn't film it because I wasn't didn't think it was very good when I dug it up. This is a flatbird to an old stove from the 1940s. I don't know if you can see it. It has Griswold on there. It's made in Pennsylvania. It says New America down here. I thought that was pretty cool once I cleaned it up. I found that casing. I thought it was a 30 out 6, but it looks a little bigger to me. This has a 3 and an 05 on the back, and I think I think it said the letter Z or A. And I found this little piece. I'm not sure what it goes to. Rang up pretty good, 75. And I found this, which I thought at first was a barrel of the gun when I dug it out just like that, but some type of cap maybe. And at the end of the video, you saw me find an old bottle dump site, and I'm waiting to take Tangle Tangle out there. She likes digging the bottles. This mason jar, which is pretty cool. I had the anchor on it and the H in the background. Right there is where it's made. The Hawking Glass Company, founded in 1905 in Lanchester, Ohio, was named after the, after the Hawking River. And this is a milk bottle from Wesley, Rhode Island, which is not right over the river from us. That's pretty cool. I love finding milk bottles. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments about the kappa, let me know. And this is some of the stuff Terry does with some of the old mason jars. She paints them. Tangle Tangle likes to paint them up. I don't think we're going to use that one as paint because that's pretty unique. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And Tangle Tangle, Monk Cheetah, I'm out.